Line following in FLL is extremely useful at aligning the robot to make a run more precise and consistent. Most teams have the color sensors far apart so they can square up against the black line more effectively, which also means they would follow a line using one sensor. However, the problem with following the line with only one sensor is that the position of the robot will constantly change because the robot is turning back and forth correcting its path. Therefore, if the robot were to be stopped at any point, the angle it is facing is inconsistent. In order to fix this, many teams use advanced coding such as PID line following as well as combining the gyro sensor with their line following program. However, this is still quite challenging because color sensors can read similar light intensities even if the robot is facing different directions. So I explored new sensor setups that would be able to follow the line more smoothly and I came up with this. One sensor in the front of the robot while another is in the back. The distance between the two sensors is two studs so the sensors fit around a black line on opposite sides. Using this setup, the two sensors would both be searching for the outside of the black line as its intended path of travel. The front sensor would be the more important one following the black line, while the back sensor is there to correct the robot if it is facing too far away from the line. While experimenting with the setup, I wanted to use the simplest programming to truly test whether it was the setup that made the robot more smooth, not any advanced programming. So I created a simple proportional line follower where the front sensor contributed 90% to the robot's steering angle, while the back sensor contributed 10%. And after playing around with the desired light intensity and the correction value, this setup proved to run quite smoothly. It eliminated a lot of the swaying motion the robot previously had, although it was kind of hard to tell because the black tape I used as a line wasn't completely straight. Overall, I would say that having two color sensors spread far apart is still the most ideal setup since it can square up and follow black lines. However, if you have a third color sensor, I would highly recommend placing it in the back of the robot, making it follow the line just a bit smoother.